Good morning, Acacia family. Welcome to day number 39 of Corona Days. It is Thanksgiving Thursday again. Be grateful for earth, for family, for time at home, for security, for pets, for love, for food, for friends, teachers, trees, birds, squirrels, flowers, dirt, pain, suffering, joy, peace, promises for God Almighty. Hey, I'm thankful for you. Life is good. This is day number 18 of remote learning, huh? Our 18th remote learning day. And it is Thursday, as we've said. So that means you have today and tomorrow to finish your remote learning packets. Some of you are working di diligently and have good, solid routines in place. Some of you are acting like your pencil weighs a thousand pounds and you're too busy to mess around with schoolwork. Take a deep breath. Remember, work is a gift, and God is building you up for great adventures ahead. Don't cheat yourself out of a gift, all right? And certainly, don't make poor choices today that will disqualify you from amazing opportunities in the future. Let's work hard today and tomorrow and get her done, okay? Parents, please help us out by doing a quick check of what work is completed and what still needs to be done so your students can make a solid plan to finish uh, this round definitely before Monday morning. If we haven't said it lately, thank you. Uh, thank you. We know this is a challenge. We know some days are better than others. We know it's worth it. We are cheering for Team Acacia. So let's, let's go. In about a week and a half, we're going to jump into some amazing projects. You'll have specific requirements for each class. So make sure you pay attention to those. But I also want you to start dreaming big. Think about sewing a costume or building a model, planning an event, make something grand, write a song or a book, invent a thingamabob. This will be a chance to do something epic and learn something that you will never forget. So let's start to think about those big project ideas, okay? But don't forget to do today's work and get that done, all right? Make today your masterpiece. A few announcements. Of course, re-enrollment forms are out there. They're due May 4th. I misspoke yesterday. You will get a tree on Monday, but it's a white spruce tree, not a white pine. So look forward to getting your, your tree gift on Monday. It is chapter seven of Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe today. Our friends, the kids, are in Narnia now. And uh, the intensity is certainly picking up in that adventure. So time for verse of the day, Luke 6. But to you who are listening, I say, this is Jesus talking. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what, belong, what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinner, sinners le lend to sinners expecting to re be repaid in full. But love your enemies. Do good to them and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Key words, love, mercy. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Be others focused. What do others need? How can you help them? God's word is rich, so let's read it again, hopefully without tongue ties. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies. Do good to them. 
and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Mercy, getting what we don't deserve. All right, joke of the day. Ready? What's orange and sounds like a parrot? What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. Last one. What building in New York has the most stories? What building in New York has the most stories? The public library, of course. Hey, enjoy writing the next chapter of your story today. Y'all are loved and appreciated. In God we trust, and I'll see you later.